Hello everyone, and if you are listening to this, you probably reached the end of the dry dock video and wondered, where the heck is that competition he was talking about at the beginning gone? Well, the answer is I decided to split it out into a separate video, so just in case people wanted to tune back in for reference and didn't want to skip through right to the end of the dry dock. Anyway, so yes, competition. Um, tentatively, I'll be doing this at the beginning of each month. And it, we're going to start off with a bunch of ship design competitions. We might uh, end up doing other things later on, see how it goes. So this month's competition, I will be asking you to use Spring Sharp. The last one we did asked you to use Rule the Waves, but since you actually have to pay for that, that felt a little bit unfair. So, yep, Spring Sharp, free to download, easy to start off with, hard to master program. Um, Feel free to ask around if you're on the Discord or whatever for some help if you don't understand how to use it. Uh, it took me a while to get my head around it, I'll tell you that much. Um, anyway, yeah, so Spring Sharp. And the parameters are to design a ship for a nation of your choice. And the limitations are Second London Naval Treaty Escalator Clause limitations for battleships. So your maximum displacement is... 45,000 tons, and your maximum gun caliber is 16 inches. Now I said you can design it for a nation, so you can pick a nation, that's any nation, uh, it doesn't have to be your own. And we're also going to allow um, variants so, uh, to history. So, I don't know, say if you wanted to say, oh, the Austro-Hungarian Empire somehow continues into Second London Naval Treaty era, so we're looking at 1935 to 1939 era technology so yeah don't start putting octuple 40 millimeter bofers on because those aren't around at that period um yeah so if you say well, oh austria hungary survived so you've got ports so you can make a ship then that's fine but um the judging criteria will be in two parts so part of it will be the combat power of the ship against its peer opponents for the time so if you design up to the maximum displacement limit um, your design will be evaluated up against things like Bismarck, Iowa, and Lion, since all those ships fall into roughly the same displacement category, uh, the, at least the mid-war Lion designs. Um, and so, yeah, we won't be judging a 45k ton ship against, say, uh, Yamato. And equally, we're not going to give you an easy fight and put, you up, put it up against one of the treaty battleships. So that's half of the judging criteria. The other half of the judging criteria will be suitability for the nation that you have designed. So this takes into account dockyard limitations, um, the nature of the... Uh, the, the ship compared to the ships that it's going to be serving alongside. So again, if we take an example of a US battleship, if you want to decide, design a US battleship, um, if you were to suggest something like quad 14s or triple 14s or triple 16s, or even if you want to twin or triple 18s, those would be plus marks because all of those gun turret designs were considered and or built by the US Navy during that period. Whereas if you went and said, oh, I want to build a battleship for the US, but it's going to use French quad 15-inch turrets, that'll be a mark against, because obviously that wasn't uh, something that the um, Americans used. If you want, if you really, really like using quad 15-inch turrets, I suggest you build something for the French Navy. Um, and the this obviously doesn't preclude you from building a ship that is to a lesser displacement, because those are the maximum limits. They are not something you absolutely have to stick to. So if you, I don't know, let's say if you're choosing to design for the Dutch Navy or something like that, and you think, actually, well, I could use a squadron of smaller, faster battle cruisers, and you design something in the twenty-five to 30,000 ton range, then we'll evaluate that up against things like uh, Renown and the Congo class, um, rather than up against the big 45,000 ton or so heavy hitters. So, yep, yeah, um, I'm going to put a two-week window, so it is May the 5th at the minute, and so designs have to be submitted to 5minuteguides at gmail.com by Sunday the 19th, and I will then spend the next week evaluating submitted designs, and the winner will be announced alongside the new competition on the 2nd of June. 
Now, in terms of prizes, um, there will be first, second, and third prize. Um, for that second and third prize, you get to choose between either a ship model kit or a reference book. Um, and I'll send that out to you. Um, first prize, you can choose from that, either of those options, or you can choose to have either an extensive dry dock question answered in the next dry dock, or guaranteed, or even a five minute guide for a ship of your choice, obviously, within the coverage spectra of the channel. So, there you go. I um, hope that's clear. Any questions, queries, comments, clarifications, please let me know in the comments below. And I will see you around in another video. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have a comment or suggestion for a ship to review, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to comment on the pinned post for dry dock questions.